guys, welcome, it's Heidi. Back today for another review for you. Today I'm gonna to be uh, going through my collection of vegetable tan leathers. Um, these are some of my favorite bags to carry just because of how they patina and age over time. Um, vegetable tan is a little bit more delicate than your oil tans, chrome tans, but they are very fun to carry because they are always changing with time and age. So um, three of these I have never um, done a review on before, but um, several of them that I have, I just wanted to kind of give you an update on what they look like and how they've kind of started to change and things like that. Um, I'll start with this one. This is my Coastal Hillbilly bag. Um, this is their, um, gosh, I'm never good with this name for some reason. This is their natural uh, bucket bag, the medium size, I believe. Uh, this bag I've had probably a couple of months and it has really begun to change in a very beautiful way. Uh, this one I have carried several times, um, but I, I did go ahead and kind of sped up the process a little bit by letting this one um, suntan a little bit. So on a really pretty sunny day, um, I will take my bags out and let them get the suntan. <laughs> so this one was extremely pale when I got it very natural. Um, and I, I really haven't had it out in the sun all that much, but as you can see, it has really developed this really gorgeous golden brown color. Um, I just think it's beautiful. Um, this is a really fun bag to carry, very spacious bag. Um, I have treated this bag as well with a rain and stain guard just because uh, vegetable tan leathers do spot in the rain, or they can spot in the rain, I should say. But anyway, this one is a gorgeous bag. Um, check them out, that's Coastal Hillbilly. The owner, Robin, is absolutely phenomenal. She's, she's, she's great. She will work with you on, um, you know, what type of hide you're looking for and things like that. And she's very fast at shipping and things like that. Very well made bag. Okay, this next one I have not reviewed before. This is one of my favorite bags. <laughs> this is by the company Choice Cuts Industries. So, I mean, it kind of sounds like it's not even a leather maker to me because of the name, but I came across this one and um, had, I had wanted to try it for a while, but I just, there's so many bags and I have too many as it is. But anyway, um, long story short, I saw this one come up in a buy-sell trade on one of the groups that I'm in, and I just went ahead and went for it just because I wanted to try this leather. This is a Horween leather. So while this is not like totally a vegetable tan leather per se, it is a combo um, tanning process. I spoke with the owner, which is, her name's Carrie and she described this process to me. It's a combination of Chrome Excel and vegetable tanning. So this bag is absolutely gorgeous. It has a really beautiful sheen and it's hard to describe because it is structured. Um, the bag sits completely empty, no problem. It does not puddle or anything like that, but the leather is still very, very soft. Um, it is prone to scratches, as you can see, but I embrace each one of those scratches because this bag is, I think it makes it even more beautiful, to be honest. And this, oh gosh, it's hard to say, but I've had people ask me, like, what is your favorite bag? This is definitely near the very top of the list. I love this bag. I love this leather. Um, I love the simplicity of this tote. It's just unlined and it has a really nice solid base without being too stiff, but it is a very firm, solid base. No pockets at all on the interior. You can add those. She does allow requests for adding those pockets, but honestly, I didn't, I didn't miss having a pocket on the inside. As long as I have one on the outside for my phone, I'm good because most of my things are in pouches anyway, so I just toss them in. This is a great, great bag. And this is really soft. Um, sometimes more structured bags are not as soft on the inside, but this one is super soft and great bag, guys. <laughs> I love the color. This is butterscotch and it has black 
handles. And you do have the option. She has several leathers to choose from that are for wing, um, but this one's my favorite and I love it with the black handles. And I'm trying to be brief, but I wanted to kind of, I don't know, I wanted to give more details on that one because I haven't reviewed that one before. This next one is my Day Bag by Juliet Rose. This is um, completely vegetable tanned leather, and this is in the color beige. Um, this is a very natural leather, so I'm gonna be very delicate, or I'm gonna be very careful with this delicate leather, I should say. I have treated it with apple rain and stain guard um, because I can tell that it would probably spot in the rain. But it's a, isn't it such a cute little bag? It has this one little, um, one short one strap design and it kind of gives it that hobo look. But I think it is so cute and it's so incredibly lightweight. Like this bag weighs nothing, <laughs> pretty much it's so light. And it has the one pocket on the front, which I love and really nice hardware. The strap is all natural as well and I did treat that as well. And then the interior, is unlined and she does have this really cute little tab hidden magnet magnetic closure um, it's not the strongest um, but it will hold the bag together so I mean there is some type of closure there and then the interior of the bag is unlined and she has this really cute little slip pocket in here and this is the only place that the bag is branded oh gosh that's gonna be hard for me to See, okay, see right there, Julia Rose. She is another really, really super nice person to work with. Um, really um, responsive to emails and to feedback, and she's just a really nice person. So this is another really fun bag to carry. And I like how the vegetable tan leathers, they have a sound, like they have like a squeakiness to them. So just something I like, something that I wanted to point out but it's a great little bag. And the next one, this is the one that actually has my stuff in it today. Um, this is Portland Leather Goods. This is their papaya. Um, this one is unfortunately not available right now. Um, I don't know if it was just a limited run on this or what, but, and they only made it in the full size crossbody and the mini tote crossbody, I believe. So this one may be kind of hard to find. Um, I bought this one off of um, Poshmark and I've just really enjoyed carrying this. This is a, while it's similar to their other bags, it's different because it is a vegetable tanned bag. I'm gonna guess this bag has been tumbled for softness because it is very, very super soft. It feels a lot like their, their sunflower bag. If you have ever had their, their bag in sunflower, that's also a vegetable tan leather. So it feels similar to that. And then it is crossbody as well, which I don't usually use these bags crossbody just because they are so, so big. And I think they're just too big to crossbody for me. Um, so I just use it by the double handles as a shoulder bag. This is a really nice, comfy, fun bag to carry. And I did treat this one with the Apple and, and Rain Guard, Apple Care Rain Guard protection spray as well, just because it is vegetable tanned. And the interior, I'll show you the interior really quickly. Um, it is a really nice, I would describe this as a burnt orange. It's not like a bright orange. And I'm trying to see if it's, it's reading pretty close to the color that it truly is. Maybe just a tad darker, a tad lighter in there, a tad darker in your light. Um, but it definitely pulls some browns too. I think it's a really great fall bag. So that's why I you know, started to go ahead and carry it now. But the interior does have one pocket and it has the logo there on the pocket. Super, super soft suede lining. Um, unlined, I should say, the natural side of the interior. And 
that's a fun bag, great bag to carry. So look that one up. You can find these on uh, Mercari and Poshmark and they very well may bring it back. I don't know for sure. Okay, and that leads me to bags that I've already done in another video, but I will quickly show you these bags. This is my Dooney & Burke Florentine Hattie. And you can see that it has a really nice sheen going on. These are um, sourced from a tannery in Florence, Italy. So this is very high quality leather. Um, I love Dooney & Burke bags. I especially love the Florentine line. It's my favorite. So <clears throat> of course I had to have a drawstring. I love this bag. It's very convenient, nice wide shoulder strap. I don't carry these a whole lot just because I don't know, I feel like, and there again, I, I know I mentioned this before, I've, I try to preserve my bags, but I have carried this so, and I absolutely will probably keep this one in my collection because it's a, it's a, it's a great bag and I'm really happy with the hide because sometimes the Florentine bags can be uh, more textured, more pebbled, and I think that one is probably one of the smoothest that I've ever had. So the next one is this um, Dooney & Burke Florentine Zip Pod Backpack, and I, I reviewed this in another video, so I won't go into great detail with this one, but you can see that it um, it's a pretty smooth uh, Florentine as well. Um, it has not developed a patina yet, um, just because it's new. So it will darken with age and get that really nice sheen as well. So this is a great little backpack. I mean, it's, it's small, but it holds quite a bit. And then lastly, I'll show you this one. This is my Bristol. This is uh, Dooney & Burke Florentine and Natural as well. And this one um, I bought new with tags on eBay, but it has already developed a patina. Um, not, not because it was carried, I mean, I just believe that's just from age and them even being exposed to oxygen, artificial light or natural light, they will begin this process and it happens quickly. So this one has a really nice patina going as well. And this one has a little bit more texture. I don't know if you can see, but um, even the little duck has a little bit of texture, but it's, it's pretty smooth. I mean, it's not like a pebbled one, but it does have some slight texture. I love to watch the patina process. I think it's amazing, guys. Um, <clears throat> I do have another one in mind that I'm, I'm looking at. Um, let me know if you've ever tried, I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Mansour Gabrielle, I like their little bucket bag. Um, that might be one that I try. I definitely won't buy it new because it is very pricey, um, but I would like to try that bag. And let me know if you've tried it. I don't, I saw some YouTube reviews and it just seemed really squeaky and just a really nice leather. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have tried that. And um, if you have any questions about any of these bags or if you'd like to see more details on any of them, I'd be glad to do it. Um, I hope to get another one of these soon. Uh, the Juliet Rose, she has some, uh, she has a brown available and a black. And then she also has some saddle leathers that are currently sold out, but she said she's looking to restock those soon. And I hope to try one of those because it's a really, really gorgeous, brandy colored brown that's um, I think would really develop a great patina. <laughs> so anyway, um, I appreciate you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.